Jesus, it's Jesus. We had the victory. I'm singing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have the victory. I'm singing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Demons will have Oh, tell me who can be for us when we call on his great name. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. We have, just clap your hands a moment. Oh, tell me who can go be for us when we call on His name is Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. We have. We have the. Do it again. We have one more time. We have the victory. Let me say this. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today. I told Satan. I get thee behind. Oh, boy. Victory. Oh, Satan. I. What you tell him? Get up. Happiness is mine. Happiness is mine. Well, it's happiness is mine. Well, it's happiness today. Well, it's I. I told him. Happiness to victory. Victory is mine. Well, it's victory is mine. Yes, it's victory today. I told. I told him. Oh, for victory today. God bless you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Victory, love, joy, peace is mine because I found it all in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. If you would turn with me this morning to the book of Deuteronomy, the ninth chapter as we continue in our series, the Pilgrim's Pathway, Deuteronomy, the ninth chapter, and we're going to beginning, begin reading at verse 1 through 3, and going to ask those who are able, if you would stand, so we give honor to the word of God. Deuteronomy 9, verses 1 through 3. If you have it, can you say Amen. There's someone around you without a Bible. This would be your opportune time to share yours with them. Deuteronomy 9, verses 1 through 3, as it remains standing, as we will do an affirmation and go to God in prayer. 9, verses 1 through 3, let us read together. Hear, O Israel, thou art to this day to go in to possess nations greater and Cities great and fenced up to heaven. The people great and tall, the children of the Atticus, whom thou knowest and of whom thou hast heard say, Who can stand? Understand therefore this day that the Lord thy God is he which goeth over before thee. A cons he shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before thy face. So shall thou drive them out, as the Lord have. Amen. Can church say amen? Amen. Please note, 
He's the consuming fire. He will destroy them. He will bring them out down before thy face. But you have to drive them out. Every miracle is a two-part miracle. There's a Godward side and a manward side. God will never do your part. You cannot do his part. But if you do your part, God will do his. Can you say amen? Amen. And so I want to speak to you from this text, from the subject, the challenge of being a Christian. The challenge of being a Christian. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you send your word. Send your unction, send your anointing. And let not our coming be in vain. Touch this body and these lips of clay that we speak your words and your words alone. In Jesus' name, amen. Those of you who have your Bible, would you raise it up and say this affirmation with me? Say, this is my Bible. I can have what it says I can have. I can do what it says I can do. Every promise in the word of God can come true in my life. This morning, I will receive revelation knowledge. Revelation understanding, and my life will never be the same again in Jesus' name. When you sit down, give God your best hallelujah. I'm reminded of that young man that went to church with his father for the first time, and while the pastor was preaching, the young man said, is the pastor through yet? And the father said, no. And so the boy went to sleep. And then he woke up. He said, is the pastor through yet? And the father said, no. So the boy went to sleep. And this young man woke up a third time. He said, is the pastor through yet? And the father said, he's through, but he don't know it yet. So uh, I hope when I'm through, I know it. Somebody say amen. Raise your hand and say, send your word, Lord. Understand, therefore, this day. Somebody say, this day. And the Lord thy God is he which goeth over before thee. Nothing is coming into your life that God hasn't seen first. And he is a consuming fire. How many know God is a consuming fire? And he shall destroy them, bring them down, and he's going to do it before you of your enemies. He let them die without seeing you get blessed first. Oh, come on, somebody. Uh, letting the world know it pays to serve the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. And he shall bring them down before thy face. So shall thou, here's your part, drive them out and destroy them quickly as the Lord have said unto thee. Somebody say, look at somebody next day and say it's going to happen quicker than you think. He says, Hear, O Israel, uh, you cross over Jordan today, and you're going in to depossess nations. Uh, and understand today that the Lord your God is he who God, isn't it good to know that God does not allow anything to come into your life. Uh, that he doesn't check out first. Somebody say amen. Uh, he's that good shepherd that goes before his sheep uh, to discourage someone. Uh, and perhaps it is uh, to being a Christian. Uh, I'm going to go on record. Uh, Ah, uh, those who do not have the strength of uh, being a Christian. Uh, but the good news is uh, that God, through the Holy Ghost, uh, can give the power uh, to handle every challenge that comes up in your life. Oh, clap your hand and shout hallelujah. Uh, some are insurmountable barriers. Uh, in the uh, they said, yes, the grapes are huge. Uh, the land is fertile. It's everything that God said it would be. Uh, but the problem is there are giants in the land. Uh, there's challenges in the land. And we don't think we can do it. Uh, and because of that, they gave an evil report. Uh, they were looking at themselves uh, and what 
they could do. Uh, but it's not just about you. Uh, it's about the God that's on the inside of you. Uh, where I would get upset myself. Uh, I can sing that song that says, Victory, uh, today is mine. Uh, I told Satan, get behind. Uh, victory, victory shall be mine if I hold my peace. Uh, I let the Lord fight my battle. Uh, victory shall be mine. Uh, can I tell you, you don't have to chase down every gossip. Uh, you don't have to chase lies. Uh, you don't have to chase down who said what. Uh, sometimes it's just best not to put another log on the fire. Uh, sometimes it's just best to say God is in your hand. Uh, you handle it. Because uh, I know if God be for me, uh, it don't even matter who's against me. Uh, I can handle it through the Lord. Oh, clap your hand and shout glory. I want you to understand, uh, when they came back with their evil report, uh, pessimism swept through the camp. Uh, but there were two men by the name of Joshua and Caleb uh, who countered with their words. Uh, they said, we are well able uh, to overcome it. Uh, they said, if God told us we can do it, uh, we can do it. Uh, we saw the giants. Uh, we saw the challenges. Uh, we saw the problems. Uh, but we still believe we can do it through God's help. Oh, somebody say amen. Uh, encourage somebody next to you and say, hold on, you can do it. Uh, you can make it. Uh, predictably, uh, these were the only two men in their generation uh, who ever reached Canaan land. Uh, the ones that said they couldn't do it didn't do it. Uh, and the ones that said they could uh, did just what they said. Uh, what are you saying? You determine uh, how good God can be to you. Uh, if you're saying you're not going to make it, then honey, you're not going to make it. Uh, but if you're saying greater is a he that is in me than a he that's in the world, no matter what the challenge, I'm coming out and I'm coming out with a praise. Oh, somebody shall glory. Understand if you will. Uh, this just shows us how God operates. Uh, he never makes the way easy. Uh, lest we think we can keep ourselves. Uh, so he sets before his people uh, some insurmountable barriers uh, along this pilgrim's pathway. Uh, listen to what he said in verse 1. Uh, Here, O Israel, uh, you are to cross over the Jordan today and go depossess the nations that are greater uh, and mightier than yourself. Uh, cities great and fortified up to heaven. Uh, now some archaeologists uh, have relatively recently uh, have excavated uh, some of these walls uh, and they were amazed that the Canaanites uh, were able to build such structures uh, without the engineering implements uh, that we have today. Uh, this was a picture of the insurmountable barriers uh, that come into every Christian's life. Uh, think, for instance, of the barriers uh, that may even be in your home. Uh, the devil wants to convince you that your family will never be saved, uh, that it'll never get better than what it is right now. Uh, but I want you to know, hold on, uh, 
uh, God is able to do anything. Uh, no wonder Jesus said, uh, do not think that I came to bring peace on earth. Uh, I did not come to bring peace on but a sword, uh, for I've come to set a man against his father, uh, a daughter against her mother, uh, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, uh, and a man's foes uh, will sometimes be of those of his own household. Uh, that's Matthew 10, 34. Uh, I remember there was a woman uh, who was had a husband. Uh, who was not saved, uh, but he was a dictatorial husband. Uh, he wanted to be the dictator in the home. Uh, and he went to baseball games every Sunday. Uh, and he made her stay home from church uh, to meet his need of packing a lunch uh, for him to go to the game. Uh, he did everything he could could uh, to discourage her uh, from going to the house of God. Uh, I remember a sister in my dad's church uh, who every time she wanted to come to church her husband tried to do everything he could uh, to discourage her from coming to the house of God. Uh, he treated her bad. Uh, he did unmentionable things. Uh, and she kept praying for him. Uh, kept saying God's going to save him. Uh, it seemed insurmountable. Uh, and sadly, uh, the thing she prayed for, uh, she never saw come to pass. Uh, but while my father was preaching her funeral, uh, her husband who was sitting in the first row uh, as part of the family uh, interrupted the funeral. I'll never forget it. Uh, and he said, this woman was really saved. Uh, I did everything I could to discourage her uh, from staying with God. Uh, but she kept believing in God. Uh, and I just want to stand up at her funeral uh, and say whatever she had, that's what I want. Uh, and he gave his life to Jesus Christ, got baptized at the funeral, and got filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, clap your hand and shout hallelujah. She never saw it uh, but God answered her prayer uh, and then sometimes uh, there are barriers in our social life uh, and the New Testament makes it clear uh, that friendship with the world uh, is enmity with God uh, and whosoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world uh, makes himself an enemy of God uh, that's in James 4 and 4. Uh, and this means that in every circle of your social life, uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, whatever you do, uh, you will find certain barriers. Uh, and you've got to make sure uh, those things don't take over your life. Uh, you want to make sure that God is number one. Uh, and as long as I stay with God, uh, I don't care who likes it or don't like it. Uh, I know I'm going to make it. Oh, clap your hand and shout hallelujah. And then what should we say uh, about the business life? Uh, the Bible says uh, to provide things honest uh, in the sight of all men. Uh, the Bible says uh, to owe no man anything. Uh, and the Bible says uh, we are not to be lagging in diligence, uh, but be fervor in the 
spirit. Uh, and whatever job you have, uh, you are to do it as unto the Lord. Uh, to live this kind of way uh, will be unpopular in the office, uh, unpopular at the job. Uh, sometimes it may cause you to sacrifice promotion uh, and position because uh, you could get it if you did something under the table. Uh, but I'm trying to be a Christian. Uh, I'm trying to show you uh, it costs to be a Christian. Uh, and God would have us know uh, as we started out uh, that everybody's not going to like you. Uh, but as long as I got Jesus, uh, I can still make it. Oh, clap your hand and shout hallelujah. Uh, listen to what he said in verse 2. Uh, he said, a people great uh, were from a giant tribe uh, who populated the areas of Canaan. Uh, you can find them in Numbers, the 13th chapter. Uh, under the leadership of Joshua, the Israelites destroyed many of these giants, uh, many of their strongholds, uh, causing the raiment to flee uh, to the cities of Palestine uh, and some of their descendants uh, even remained to King David uh, and his warriors finished them off uh, after slaying Goliath uh, well in the New Testament language uh, in 1 John 2.16 uh, he tells us we've got some giants in our life uh, he says all oh, that's in the world uh, is the giant that's called the lust of the flesh, uh, the giant that's called the lust of the eyes, uh, and the giant that's called the pride of life. Uh, these giants want to destroy you. Uh, they want to tempt you. Uh, they want to seduce you. Uh, they want you to bow down uh, to the power of Satan. Uh, but if you are to be a Christian, uh, you've got to declare war on these giants. Uh, you got to tell Satan uh, your kingdom uh, must come down. Uh, and this explains why uh, new believers uh, find their initial days uh, tough going. Uh, you can't read the Bible uh, without being aware uh, that there's a spiritual war going on. Uh, uh, there's discouragements uh, that come from the left and from the right. Uh, they come from the job and from your home. Uh, you'll even get discouraged uh, from people in the church. Uh, but I come to tell somebody, uh, you've got to make it up in your mind. Uh, I'm going with Jesus uh, all the way. Uh, yes, the rolling get tough. And some of them here. A hard to climb, uh, but I started out uh, a long time ago, uh, and there's no doubt uh, in my mind. Uh, my pastor didn't decide for me. Uh, my parents didn't decide for me. Uh, the deacons didn't decide for me. Uh, silver and gold, uh, and uh, I won't turn back. Uh, I won't turn back to me. Uh, I come this far on that everything is gonna be a order. Cry, but I heard them say, weeping made a joy. And I can be corrected if I'm wrong. And that is that he is one of the few men Super Bowl, as well as in the World Series. He writes bullets that were flying in the ghetto, and he prayed along with his family for God to help them move out of the ghetto. And God answered their prayer and they got moved out of the ghetto. But the only house they could afford to rent he knows what you need even before you need it. And I don't know, maybe I could just get one or two people to raise their hand and testify that sometimes it looked like it was over but God had another move. Can you raise your hand and say God had another move? He knows what he's doing. 
There's a challenge to being a Christian. There's a challenge when, God forbid, I hope it never happens to you. Somebody curses you out. And you know some curse words too. You ain't forgot everything. <laughs> but it's because you're a Christian. You just try to smile. Say, I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm going to do my best to make you feel better. Uh, that sometimes misunderstandings happen. And you just pray and say, well, I'm just going to believe God's going to work it out. I'm going to still show love. Somebody say amen. Yeah. Amen. It's easy to talk about being a Christian. But living the Christian life is not for weaklings. It's only for those, only the strong survive. Somebody say only the strong survive. But tell somebody, I'm strong enough because I got God on my side. If you believe it, put your hands together and give God praise. Let us all stand. Father, I've done my best to preach your word. And as they faced those giants, you brought them deliverance. When we face our giants, help us to get deliverance too. We pray right now, Lord God, that you would turn the searchlight of heaven on our soul. And if you find anything that shouldn't be, take it out and strengthen us. We want to be right. We want to be saved. And we want to be whole. Help us to meet the challenges of being a Christian. When we could do wrong and perhaps get away with it and nobody would know, you would know. Because you would know it would be displeasing to you. Help us to make you happy and make the devil mad. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody give God 10 seconds of worship and praise. I'm going to meet the challenge. I'm going to handle the challenge of being a Christian. Remain standing just for a moment as the altar works.